everyone, it's Callie here, and tonight I wanted to make this video to talk about XXX Tenacion and how he exposed that the music industry was using frequency to manipulate the minds of the masses. So if you're like me, you're wondering how is this possible, but it's actually pretty simple, so I'm going to try to break it down for you today. Most people are completely unaware that their minds can be manipulated with frequency and sound. And to understand why this is, you gotta know two things. First being that all humans are energy sources, okay? And second is that all humans have five main senses. You have sight, taste, touch, smell, and hearing. And all of these five senses can be manipulated using frequency, but let's just focus on hearing because that is exactly what they're using to program your mind. And the way they do this is by getting you to listen to the music they push mainstream. So Nikola Tesla, he said that if you wanna understand the secrets of the universe, you must think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. And he was so right because energy, frequency, and vibration is exactly how they manipulate the masses with music. All humans are energy. And with certain frequencies, they can manipulate our vibration to their intended levels. So why would they do this? Why would they want to manipulate people in any way? Well, especially with vibration. And what you got to understand is that when we vibrate at a chaotic level, we are way more susceptible to manipulation. And what we hear affects how we feel. So this frequency that they play in all the mainstream music causes you to become moody. It causes you to become stressed out and anxious and depressed. So when you hear this distorted frequency, it pushes you into a chaotic state of mind, making you unable to think clearly. And this is the cause and also a distraction from you becoming your most infinite self. You are very, very powerful and you don't know it. And they don't want you to know how powerful you are because then they become less powerful. So they distract everyone by using this 440 Hertz. And what this does is it causes people to stay in a very low, vibrating state of consciousness. And when we're in a low state of vibrating state of consciousness, then we cannot raise our level of vibration. It's very hard and therefore we can't understand the truth of ourselves or the world around us. So to understand this just a little more, we can look at somatics. And somatics is the vibrational effect frequency has on water. And if you are unaware or unsure about this, it's scientifically proven. All you have to do is go Google somatics or Google 440 hertz versus 432 hertz to kind of see exactly what I'm talking about. 440 hertz, when examined with water, showed a very chaotic image. Rather than, you know, 432 hertz, which showed a very beautiful, symmetrical, sacred, geometrical pattern. So let's say with 440 hertz, you get this chaotic and distorted image, and with 432 hertz, you get this sacred geometry. So we must only apply this to ourselves since we're water. And you have to ask yourself, how is 
440 hertz affecting us? Why aren't they using 432 hertz, the frequency of the universe that creates balance within all things? You know, these are really things that we have to start questioning and really thinking about because it affects us all on a collective conscious level. So I just wanted to make this really short and I'm going to make another video to get more into uh, why and how 440 hertz is affecting people. So I just want to say rest in peace XXX and if you guys want to kind of understand this in a little more detail, subscribe so you get notified, like and share, and I will see you guys next time.